Welcome fellow travelers, Mod Maven here, and I'm happy to bring you this review of two paradise planets in the same system. We're in the Euclid Galaxy in a Corvax Tier 3 economy. Our first planet is this one right here, very Earth-like with grassy highlands, and our second one sports some citrusy colors in yellow, green, and orange. We'll check out this one first, and then we'll jump over to our other planet. We'll round out things by looking at some of the ships and other planets available, the S-Class upgrades up in the space station, and then come back here and finish off with a vibe score. Glyphs will be shown throughout, and if you like the vibe here and build a base, please do be aware of other bases in their proximity. Let's get to it. All right, as you saw in the intro there, here we are on our nice Highland Earth planet, as I call it. Uh, we have our lovely green grass in kind of a meadow feel. Uh, very nice flowers here with our, our meadow grasses and, and different colors of shade, shades of green. And then in yellows, we also have our lovely blue water down there. This one in particular has more water kind of through the equator of the planet. If we kind of look here real quickly, uh, resources to point out additional there, we have cobalt, which is nice if you want to flip that. But you can kind of see from the picture there, you have some more water kind of through the middle, but quite a lot of room to grow here or build. So uh, that's as far as kind of the topography and so forth. Uh, we can see some more kind of water down through it, through there and some kind of cave structures and things like that. So our greens and yellows, very nice. Our lovely blue sky, not the darkest of blue, kind of the, the lighter bluish green kind of uh, in, the, in the sky there. But let's hop over here and we'll check out some of these guys. <laughs> check these guys out. Kind of a funny looking face on, on these guys and uh, they're trying their best there to, to fly around. These ones are adoptable. You can adopt these as companions. And uh, you see across the way we have some striders as well. A couple of other sort of uh, land-based uh, creatures. Uh, if we hop over to, there's there's kind of a, a flock, if you will, of our, our little anteater snout nose things there. <laughs> so grab one of those if you like that as a companion. Uh, so some of our other fauna here, uh, some of our fish, and really tiny head on that guy. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, <laughs> kind of freaky spidery legs on that one. Uh, a few flyers here as well. So a pretty good mix of, of everything as far as, as fauna. No, Unfortunately, no diplos or anything like that, but these guys are fun to, to watch. <laughs> so as, as you kind of saw earlier... Just kind of a, a, a highland kind of feel with these these higher sort of foothills type looking looking topography with the the rocks and everything. So uh, that's kind of the highlights of this one. Uh, we're not going to spend a ton of time here. We'll come back here later for a vibe score, but we're going to jump over to the other paradise planet in this system, and uh, we'll switch glyphs so that you have those uh, when we switch over. But uh, these are both in the same system, so let's go check the other one out as well. Before we left this first planet, I did want to give you a little bit more of a bird's eye view here as we fly slowly across the, the landscape. Again, our, our, our kind of rolling hills here are highlands with, with little cave nooks and crannies and some, some blue water to, to explore as well. Uh, nice puffy clouds. Pretty, pretty nice place to be. All right, the sun's coming up on our other paradise planet here. We hopped over here. This one we call Citrus Springs. Uh, it has kind of a, a nice green and yellow and then some orange in the water that you can kind of see down through there. Uh, so this one's called Citrus Springs. Uh, it's got a, a few of these kind of floating uh, island type uh, topography here with with a decent amount of, of mountains and, and uh, floating islands to, <laughs> to build on. Some of the larger uh, trees here, kind of this mega flora. You can see a little bit of the, the beautiful flyers through there with their red wings. Those are, those are some really nice ones. Um, as far as fauna on this one, we do have flyers and we have some ground creatures and some underwater creatures as well. So we can see down through here our yellowish green uh, varying trees. Pretty pretty dense foliage actually. Um, 
and some some really nice places to build amongst the trees and these kind of uh, lower bushes. Uh, these bushes are nice because a lot of times they'll give you two different resources um, if you mine them. So that's that's pretty cool too. One fauna I did want to kind of highlight here on this particular paradise planet are these kind of stripy crab looking guys. <laughs> they're kind of running away. They're kind of scared. Uh, but they're pretty cool here too. So of course you can have those as, as companions. Hop over here as well. Uh, got a, a few other kind of red with, with the wings on the knees kind of thing there. There's our red flyers we saw just a minute ago. The little stripy horn guy there. Spotty and stripy and all kinds of stuff going on here. These, these little guys that roll around. So pretty good variety here. Here's here's kind of a greenish color, uh, similar to the other uh, red ones that we saw. So the, some really nice flyers, especially against the sun and the sunset uh, as they're, they're flying around at night. As we head out to the rest of the system and the space station, I did want to show you kind of a little bit better view of our topography here on this paradise planet as we as we fly around slowly we can see a little bit better the the orange water and again these yellowish green trees and our nice green grass and yellow sky nice ring planet in the sky up there I think it's our petrified planet all right before we head over to the space station let's take a look at the other planets available in the system I'll put up screenshots of these as we go so here we have an abandoned planet high sentinel activity there come on over here here we have an ashen moon this one's pretty cool it has yellow lava on it so check that out on some of the mountains that erupt and everything come on over here and we have our our citrus springs that we checked out and then our, our paradise planet there and then a petrified planet here this one's pretty neat it has all of the the virus type uh, kind of flora and fauna that, that roll around and uh, those are pretty cool. Should be able to get some glitches there too. And over here, Highland Earth, of course. And then our last one here, the Glacial Planet. It's got some salvageable scrap. So here's our Highland Earth Paradise Planet again. You know how we were talking about the water and it being like kind of through the middle? I believe this is kind of here what it was talking about on the original sort of discoveries page is this, this kind of area here but as you can see there's plenty of other water on this planet up here and lots of lots of places to to build all through here as well so you know it, it's odd sometimes this discoveries page versus what you see in space depending on how far or close you are it kind of varies but anyway i wanted to show you this from space to kind of show you yeah you got a lot of areas to, to explore in the water. You got a lot of areas to build on the land. It's a pretty good mix. All right, up here in the space station, uh, I did a reload to get some kind of wave one ships coming in. So because we're in a predominantly uh, Corvax system here, we're gonna get seven different types of explorers. So here's a couple of them here you want to come check these out so in any system you're gonna have 21 different configurations of ships uh, seven for the predominant race so for this one we have seven different of these explorers here and then we're also gonna have three fighters three haulers seven shuttles and one exotic there is one exotic in every system there's a there's a shuttle there so the configuration of course is the the different wings the colors the different things like that that are on the ships so I'll put up a few screenshots of some of the ones that I like from here and then we'll also while we're up here talk about some of the s-class upgrades available so these are the upgrades available at the vendors across the way there your results may vary I gathered this on PC but uh, it should be pretty close for you so we'll go over these as we watch some more ships come in and out so for the exosuit, you just have a shield module, not, not a whole lot there, but uh, for the exocraft, you have the Nautilon cannon. For your starship, you have the photon cannon and the phase beam. By the way, that's my ship, can't have that one. But <laughs> anyway, got a nice little uh, X-wing explorer right over there. That's pretty, pretty cool, a little mecha wing uh, fighter here. 
and nice little little shuttle there. Uh, so last thing you have for your multi-tool is the uh, pulse splitter and the mining beam. And then as far as notable things for sale, over on the left as you come in or right, right over there, kind of the back room there, you have chlorine for sale. So if you want to flip some chlorine, you can definitely do it here. All right, at this point, let's head back to Highland Earth, our first paradise planet, and give this planet and system a vibe score. All right, back here on Highland Earth, we can finally give these planets a vibe score. So the vibe score I give a planet is very subjective, but considers a large range of factors on how it makes me feel just to hang out and vibe for a while. Uh, these ones are a lot of fun. Uh, this one, obviously, this blue blue water and green grass and bluish, kind of light blue sky there. Uh, really very much earth vibes. Uh, we've got our, our meadows with our nice long grasses and some, some flowers, some, some interesting ground creatures, uh, some of the little, the, the flying, <laughs> the quote flying guys uh, hanging around. So this is a pretty nice place. Plenty of room to build, uh, plenty of water to explore. So uh, this is a really nice one. And then to, to also have our citrus springs along alongside of it with our, our big trees and our greens and yellows and then the orange water over there uh, really is a is a nice system uh, some unique other planets as well with some of the the virus t uh, type uh, fauna and flora on the on the one planet uh, the yellow lava on another so it really is a, a, a pretty pretty cool system to hang out in so um, we're going to give this one an 8 out of 10. With that I'd like to thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this review please like and subscribe to catch that vibe.